Hail adventurers, tis I, Tila, Jihad, Johnny, and now featuring Bonbons with Pwn Star Gaming. Guys, how's your week been? I hope it's been really good. Uh, you know, today's video is going to be really cool, kind of weird if you catch my drift, uh, because we're going to be talking all about Strangelands. Uh, so Strangelands is one of those things that, you know, it was only one day a week originally on Sundays and I did for a little bit. I got my first uh, reward from it and then I just kind of stopped doing it. Um, they have recently opened it up to one more day and then without spilling the beans too much too early in the developer pipeline, they have talked about opening it up a, uh, quite a bit more uh, as far as times that you can play Strangelands. Uh, we're going to talk all about Strangelands today, but first, as you know, at Pwn Star Gaming, we have our beer of the day. Uh, today's beer of the day is really cool. It is Everything Rhymes with Orange IPA, and uh, it's from Rough Tail Brewing. And uh, they're a newer brewing company. Uh, I guess their grand opening for their tap room was supposed to be uh, in March this year, 2020. But as you guys know, it's been kind of crazy this year. So uh, they kind of delayed that. And uh, either way, they are in production. And I do believe that their tap room is open. It's out here in Oklahoma. Um, it is from Blaine Stanzil and Tony Tielli. Uh There's really not too much of a really cool, crazy story like our last, last video. They basically just met in a homebrew club uh, 10 years ago in 2010. So let's go ahead and see what an orange IPA is going to taste like. And then uh, we'll talk about Strangelands. I did orange IPA for Strangelands because orange IPA might be kind of strange. Let's find out. Yeah, that's actually way better than I thought. Uh, in a previous video, we did our Sam Adams cherry wheat, and it was extremely sweet and cherry, and honestly, it tasted really bad. I didn't like it. I've still got five others in there from my six pack. This, uh, more so, it smells like orange, and it uh, has a hint of a taste of orange, almost like you have an orange peel like on the rim of the can. And then it just tastes like a smooth, uh, pretty, pretty uh, light IPA. Pretty good, uh, not gonna lie. Well guys, let's get going on uh, Strangeland, shall we? Here we go, let's get weird. All right, so let's first, let's talk about what is Strangelands exactly? Well, Strangelands is kind of like a, uh, it's a survival Hunger Games type scenario uh, that is PVM and PVP. Now that's straight from the wiki. Um, if you want to correlate it to other games, I'm going to say it's kind of like a PUBG Fortnite kind of deal. Um, it's really cool. So basically, uh, in the there's some green portals that are going to show up at the banks uh, on Sundays at 3. Let me make sure this is correct here. Uh, yeah, Sundays at 3 a.m. and 3 p.m. Eastern. They're also now going to show up on Thursdays at 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern. So you go to that portal, make sure you're unmounted and you don't have any followers with you and you're also not in a party. You go to that portal and it's going to bring up a, uh, a, a big old gump, right? And it's going to let you pick your class. Now, I've played the Assassin one time and I have played the Ranger every other time. The Assassin was a lot of fun. You just kind of stealth around and uh, you've even got some poison on your Chris and it's pretty cool. Um, the Ranger, I would say if you're out there hunting for monsters, this is a really good simple uh, template because you can track and track for those monsters, go to them, kill them, Pray for a trophy, and uh, you know, there you go. That's how you get your score. 
You can also kite Dexter templates, and if you're smart, you can, in fact, mess with the mages uh, as far as PvP goes uh, by just kind of staying at max distance and then, you know, off screening when you have to heal it yourself uh, while you're waiting for your bandage to pick. Now, um, I will say that the summoners are by far, uh, without a doubt, unbalancedly um, wink wink, but however, the dev pipeline does address this. Um, they are the PvP gods, we'll call it, for this uh, event. So, um, either way, what you do is you go around, you kill people, you kill monsters, uh, the monsters will generate uh, trophies into your backpack, they'll generate different books, uh, on the corpse that will increase skill by two. Uh, they'll increase, they'll be little potions that will increase your strength or your intelligence, your dexterity. There will be armor, there will be weapons on these corpses. Uh, it, it's, it's, I mean, think of PUBG and there you have it, uh, as far as that goes. Um, and then there's even like little supply chests that you go and you beat on and then when they finally uh, lose all their hit points then there's those same things that we just talked about okay um, really a survival mode type game and I say survival for multiple reasons uh, the key of the game, the name of the game, whatever you want to say, is stay alive. Because every five minutes, you're going to generate 25 points to your score. Um, also, the uh, when you, those five minutes happen, you're going to take a hunger increase and a thirst increase. You're going to find different mushrooms. Uh, you're gonna find carcasses on the monsters that you kill. You're gonna find casks of wine that decrease your thirst. Uh, hell yeah. Thirst just went down by five right there, buddy. Um, and if it in goes to max, then you're out of the game. However, if you're killed by another player, you just respawn with all your blessed items. So that means that that exceptional uh, valor at crossbow that you picked up from that supply chest earlier, well, it's gone if you were killed by a player or even a monster. Now, let's say that you also picked up some power surpassingly accurate crossbow uh, from a random monster, and you happen to store it into a, uh, a, a hidden stash, uh, which looks like the little uh, ladders going down into a basement or the little grassy knoll with the little cave, underground cave. You stashed it in there while you were putting your trophy in, which, while I must say, is the best way to generate points, is trophies. Well then guess what? You can just go right back there and pick up your crossbow that you left there. Really nice system. Um, overall, Strangelands is a lot of fun. It's really, really cool. Um, I do understand that the developer di uh, developer pipeline is a, hey, this is what we're working on. And in fact, the uh, Strangelands overhaul is only 25% complete. But let me pull this on over here. And if you take a look at it, um, basically what they want to do is they want to take it from the long 90 minute down to 45 minutes, which I can wholeheartedly agree. When I jumped back in there for the first time in a while, I was like, dang, I didn't realize this was an hour and a half. And 45 minutes is a perfect time, in my opinion. They want to end up making the food and the water, uh, you know, do a little bit more harm, I guess we'll say, um, that you really need to focus on that more so than now, which I already feel is an extremely uh, important part to the strange lands. They also want to make it to where Dexers have a little bit stronger of a burst capability, such as mages do. Um, there's tons and tons of different really cool things that they are working on with Strangelands to better improve it. Side note, that's something that's really cool about Outlands. The developers, yes, they create different things and it seems like 
we are constantly having new content to play, but they don't forget about their old content and they also update us on that old content that they are working on. Um, if you haven't already, look at the development pipeline. There's some really, really cool things on there, including brewery stuff. Yes, that's right. We can make our own beers, I think. Um, either way, make sure you check out the developer pipeline. All right, guys. And the final thing that we're going to talk about with Strangelands is the really cool rewards. As you probably guessed, there's tons and tons of different mushrooms. There's some dead corpses, which by the way, I am in the market for. Um, there's lots of really cool rewards, everywhere from those house decorations all the way to cloths, ship deed uh, uh, paints and stuff like that. Really, really cool rewards. It's similar to anything else as far as the you generate points and those points um, they you, you can then use those to buy those rewards guys that does it for our strange <laughs> video uh, over strange lands as you know every week we do a raffle for everyone anywhere from 1 to 100,000 gold uh, last week we did it for everyone that uh, participated in the black birthday event uh, kind of what their uh, thoughts were gonna happen uh, as far as the whole Minax thing that unravels we had Colin Cross, Amish, Petch, Tony Staley, and the Lord Al haven't seen him in a while either way let's go ahead and pick one and our winner is Tony Staley congratulations my man uh, we go over here to our random number generator already got it in here for 1 to 100 let's see how much gold you're gonna win and 70,000 gold Tony Staley all you got to do, my man, is message me on Discord uh, and uh, say, Hey, I'm Tony Staley. Show some kind of proof and uh, I'll meet you at Shelter with a check for 70,000 gold. Congratulations, Tony Staley. Uh, guys, if you want to be entered into this week's raffle for your chance at 1 to 100,000 gold, all you got to do is just comment below uh, a kind of a suggestion as to what you would like to see me cover next week. Um, go ahead and make sure that you subscribe and uh, like this video. That way people that are out there see what Outlands is all about and they join our wonderful growing community of Ultima Online. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it. Please don't hesitate to send me messages over video editing, uh, critiques, or anything like that. I thrive on that kind of deal. Um, guys, Pwnstar Gaming out. Have a good one.